One of the things that I find fascinating is to get glimpses into the lives of the people that were buried in ancient Rome 2,000 years ago. And sometimes I look at ancient tombstones and you can really get very uplifting stories or very heartbreaking stories. I think it can tell us a lot about their lives. We have a lot of texts about ancient Rome, uh, but they were largely written by aristocratic men and tend to misrepresent marginalized populations like women or slaves. And so archaeologists and historians are looking for new kinds of information and I think that the way people are buried can tell us a lot about the people that are not usually covered in textual sources. One of the challenges is that sometimes the site visits that I have don't last very long. Uh, I have maybe a half an hour to visit one site and so I try to take as many photographs uh, as I can to study the site in more detail later on. One of the sites we've looked at is the Sepocreto Ostiense. It's a cemetery outside of Rome that was used for several hundred years and gives us a long-term view of the development of Roman funerary architecture. And so what we've done is uh, create a virtual 3D model in the computer of that site by taking photographs and measurements with uh, modern survey equipment. And it's great because it helps us to actually study the site um, 24 hours a day from our computers. And eventually we'll put this online and it'll give people the chance to kind of do a virtual visit of the site and take a look at the different tombs, uh, including the burials, inscriptions, mosaics and paintings that were inside. I've just really started this research program uh, by looking at the sites and really now I'm going to start to analyze the data that I've, that I've gathered. One of the things that excites me is that with new questions we can still find out new things that people haven't thought about before.